Fury towards America's reversal of abortion rights has made its way to Perth streets and cities across Australia as thousands protested in solidarity this afternoon. Police were forced to step in at the Forest Chase rally when hecklers clashed with demonstrators. The Murray Street Mall is a long way from the United States. My body, my but the outrage is just as strong. I feel angry that we have to even be here protesting our own bodily autonomy. America's Supreme Court decision has propelled disbelief. It's disgusting. It feels like we're going back in time. The ruling prompting action on Perth streets as more than a thousand people descended on the city. I'm surprised how emotional I feel about it, actually, yeah. Why, why is that? Because I was not wanted. I am the product of someone who should not have been able to have a child. So choice is so important. Both men and women standing in solidarity over US abortion rights. Don't understand how women don't have the rights to their body. It yeah. makes no sense to me. It's ludicrous. And the fact that it can happen in a Western country is scary to me because I feel like something like that could happen here. Protesters also clashing with hecklers, forcing police to step in. This protest has now reached St George's Terrace. As you can see, there are hundreds of women and men across all ages sitting on the road. Cars have been blocked and been diverted in another way. It was one of several rallies across Australian cities, a day of national action, demanding safe abortions for millions of people in the US. Melbourne and Sydney both seen much bigger crowds, with thousands marching through the cities, both gatherings running into counter-protests. It's been one week since the 50-year-old landmark Roe v Wade decision was overturned, allowing individual US states to ban abortion. The change doesn't affect Australia's rules, but our state government admits WA's abortion laws are outdated and need work. I'll leave it up to Minister Sanderson to commit to uh, in relation to a timeline, but I support her call for modernising these laws. Michael Stamp, Nine News.